You, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush, same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Dad? Where are they going? We need to go inside with the boat. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <laughs> Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you?
you from one of the strongholds, Orc. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men are turned to us you. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Orc! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move, now! Up through the tower, let's go! on the other side. Jump through the roof. Keep going. You need to get over here! Now! Matterhorn, you're doing great! 
Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadar. <laughs> Stay close to the wall! Quickly, follow me! It's you and me, prisoner! Stay close! Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? To bring us to the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. See? Get that off. Bro, give that sword a few swings, too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole keep. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm clouds. Maybe we can reason with them. What was it? Hold on now.
ready for that. And then this way. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need these. That's the best thing to do. along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I'd been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. A dragon? Please, don't make up no- Since... Oh. Huh? Come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. With us, we need to get out of here. You have no authority over me. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep us under attack. Get the old man. I'll come with you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. I've lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screen for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. Only them. Thing we can get. Sure. Take all my things. Please. Grab what you can and let's go. Come on, hurry up.
See where this goes. We'd better try this way. Where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might. Be kept by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Not the sneaking type, huh?
This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Hadvar? How do you know him? I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon, here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Mm-hmm. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. I see. The grindstone will improve your weapon if you've got the raw materials. You can use the forge Things to make something new. Enough. Good Come day. On. There's my uncle. Uncle Halvor, hello. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Yes, actually. How? Come on inside. Sigrid, get you something to eat, and you can tell us. Hi. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? Whatever you need. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Good day. I've got that to do the missing the war broke the back of six. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all and then you looking for a new blade? 
This looks good. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by panning some leather on the raft. I... Sigrid. It's nice company. to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here yes? for a while. You can make your own way to ah, solitude from here. Let's see be if you can make a hide helmet. Damn Here's the rest of what you need. Anywhere. I... I'm so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Take what you need, my friend. Huh. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the work. It's over there. Need something? You have talent. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. All right, then. Imperial business. Be on your way.
Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Ha! Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. If you go to him, good luck. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Salaborn, give me your money. I, I don't have any money. You better give me five seconds right now. I only counsel caution. We cannot afford to act rashly in times like these. <sighs> My lord, please. You have to listen. If the news from Tony is me true, do, then. Well, nothing there's the no meaning telling of this interruption. My lord, please. Balgruff is this not is no receiving visitors. Action. I just think we need more information before we act. Well, that explains I why just... the guards let you in. Come on Who's then. This, the then? Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? 
Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I'm so angry, I can hardly stand it. Father promised me a new dress days ago. Now where is it? It takes a while to make a dress, Dagny. You have to be patient. But I don't want to be patient. I want my dress right now. Father promised. All you ever do is complain about what you want. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father you said that. He'll tan your hide for sure. Faringar. I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. This is a priority now. You should join Anything we can use to fight this dragon or dragons. back to Riverwood. Yes, Housecar. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon. Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else. And we don't know where the dragon is.
did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Sweet breath of Arcade, thank you. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, let visitor. me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Bah! Yes, the Jarl's protege! Back from Bleak Falls Barrow! <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you've deciphered it. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Mind your own business. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. Help Irileth kill this dragon before it can attack Whiterun. There's no time to lose.
here's the situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A Whoa, dragon? We're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But House Card, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? No, I no, so House Card. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in Skyrim since the last age. The glory of killing it is ours, if you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move out. Take a look. May your road lead you to warm sands. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out, and look for survivors. We need to know what No, get 
back. It's still here somewhere. Crocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Peter, let's save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Over here. Believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used... Tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Yerileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Yerileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. If you really are dragonborn, like out of the old tales, you ought to be able to shout. Can you? Have you tried? Oh, that is shouting. What you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then.
You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very... Disconnected from the troubles of this world, I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Good day. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Well, Wolf, in the very oldest tales, back from when there still were... With good planning, even now, we must... But our... 
Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters. Professor, you must help us. We need to convince my brother to do more for the world. What would you have me do, Drangar? Your brother is a Jarl. You know I can't question his judgment. I'm not asking you to defy the Jarl, just to open his eyes. Use subtlety and suggestion to turn his <laughs> What is it that you need? If it's the... No doubt. Oh, fri... The day... But that day has not come yet. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. <clears throat> Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I'm the commander of the guard here in Whiterun. Everything's for sale, my friend. Take a look. Do come back. Still warm from the oven. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. I'd even buy trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
do come back. You just let trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Remember, I'll give you the best... You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We will pay good money for information. A woman. A foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We will find her eventually. Got some good, hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if. Welcome to. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Good doing business with you.
I don't claim. Take a look. Have you met my... Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. I'll take my leave then. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Mm-hmm. Wounds where between all for the throne of the dragons. I wonder if we should not leave Skyrim and ply our trade elsewhere. I admit, the dragons are a concern. But we can avoid them if we do not stay in one place for too long. That may be, but what of the war? That is not so easy to escape from. Need something? Take a look. That is not a reason to leave. It is a reason to stay. May your road lead you to warm sand. By Izmir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthgar. But you were gone longer than usual.
and be fuddled. Stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. Unmoving. At rest. But too still. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. I'm taking mother to a new home. A new crypt. But, ah! Wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can... Ah, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin. Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? That Cicero fella? Huh, <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Crazy fool's already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Pay me! You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. What? And just who in Mara's name are you, anyway? Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. The feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. seems so very far. You... you did? He has? Oh, stranger! You have made... here, here for your troubles. Shiny, clinky gold. A few coins for your kind deed. And thank you, thank you again. <laughs>
Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. You've never been to this. Be sure to visit the Black Friar and meet. You mark the dads and you forget all. Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel at your service. For a generous fellow traveler.
Only true Imperials request that one. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. Find my home overrun with bandit filth. Help will arrive soon. Agreed. We can't afford to try again. Are you here to help? <sighs> Finally, reinforcements have arrived. I was expecting more, though. It better be good. Good. The place is crawling with bandits. We lost some good men trying to take it earlier. I suspect Brurid planned this. There's been bad blood between us since the King's death. But to invade my home... Kidnap my family... The front gate is locked, so you'll need to use the mine entrance behind us. Open the front gate, and we'll try and give you some support. My family is everything to me. Clear the fort, and on top of the posted reward, you can have whatever items you'd like. I wish we could offer more help, but our last attack went sour, and we're all that is left. Good luck. Time to get lost.
this a surprise? <laughs> what you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Time to end this little game. <laughs>
Over here. Is someone there? You want to go? Are you?
in you alive. No one bats an orb. Yeah? Thank you for your help. Did you see my family inside? <sighs> Hopefully they made it to safety before the attack. I'll begin the search after a quick restock. Anyway, here is your reward. Thanks again.
Welcome to the Villamere Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. <clears throat> Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. If you pass... Stop by for a drink. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? 